Matt, we don't know if Rupe's going to play tonight, but if he does, when he, or when he's healthy, what's the trickle down for the lineup when, when sort of everybody slots into their, their right positions? Yeah, um, well, I think we had, or the depth of our team is our strength, and we, you know, he goes out, you put a guy like Sagan at center, I mean, you don't really, <clears throat> it's, it's uh, flip one great piece out and put another great piece in. So obviously it uh, adds to our depth, um, getting, you know, that <clears throat> an elite player back, but I don't think it uh, was a situation where our team game really dipped all that much. And that's not saying anything against Rupe, obviously. That's just speaking to the depth of our team. And But getting him back will give us a boost if he's in. Third row left, Mark. Matt, Rope kind of flies under the radar nationally. What have you seen from him being his teammate this year that you maybe didn't know about him before? What's impressed you about him? Yeah, I think um, he definitely does fly under the radar. I think a lot of the, uh, you know, Western markets uh, that happens with especially. But, uh, um, no, he's an elite player. I mean, he does everything well. He's, he's a horse out there. Um, his skating ability is as good as anybody in the world. And, um, kind of does everything you could ask. So um, he really, he, he's a guy that helps drive our team, um, you know, and adds obviously to that. It, it, he's a big part of that depth that we have. Back row on the right. Hey guys, for both of you, you're five and one so far in away games in this postseason. What have you learned about what this group loves most about the challenge of coming into buildings like this? Um, I mean, we've been the best road team in the league this past year. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with our depth and the detail in our game. Um, we don't beat ourselves. We play our systems real well. And, um, you know, Otz uh, is a big fan of playing in a way rink. He loves being the villain. Um, I think a lot of us kind of embody that as well. Second row left, Eric. Thomas, what have you learned or picked up from a guy like Chris Tanev since he's arrived? Uh, I mean, he's an unbelievable player. I didn't, uh, I didn't know how good he was before we got him, but he's, he's so good with the puck too. I think is really underrated. Um, as far as what I've learned, um, you know, he's a great shot blocker. I think he gets himself in the way a lot, um, but he doesn't rely on it. You know, he's got such a great stick and such great feet that it's kind of a last resort. But he's, he's unbelievable at everything. It's in that same role, Mike. Hey, Thomas. Uh, we're back in the place where the bubble was. How much did you build friendships there, and how much do those friendships continue right now? Um, the bubble was huge for me that way. Um, you know, I got to spend a lot of time with guys that I wouldn't uh, normally get to. Uh, I got to got to know the Europeans. I got to know Miro and Roop and all these guys real well. Um, it's just paying dividends now. Anything else? Go back to Josh on the right. Matt, just on, on Jake, I mean, what, what stood up to you about, about his demeanor and his calmness? I mean, like, not all goalies speak on game day today. He's in the room. Or, like, what, what stands out about his personality that makes him able to do what he does? You asked about Jake, sorry? Yeah. That mic isn't super clear. No, I, I mean, he's, um, he's kind of got that uh, disposition of, like, he's intense, but he's also relaxed at the same time. It's kind of, he walks that kind of line of um, that goalies need because... If you're too on the gas and too intense, I mean, you're gonna, when you let in a bad goal, you're not gonna forget about it. You're not gonna move f uh, f uh, past it. You know, you don't have a great game. He has that ability to like, you know, be dialed in, but also be extremely calm back there. And I think when he's um, on his game, uh, that calmness and that presence that he has back there as, you know, a forward or, you know, a D-man as, as a skater, I mean, you, you feel like you can, kind of go do your thing out there and you know that if you make a mistake he's got your back so that loosens you up a little bit and all, all great goalies have that ability to do that and um, I've been fortunate in the last few few years to play with some really elite goalies with you know Bobrovsky and uh, and uh, UC Saros and Pecorine and uh, Otters right there with those guys in terms of that presence that they have back there.